Hi, this is James Abraham with Warehouse Lighting. I'm actually going to show you how to add a motion sensor to uh, a lighting fixture. This one happens to be a high bay. Um, I got the camera kind of close on the fixture so you can pretty much just watch my hands. I'll try to explain it as best as I can. If you have questions, please contact us, uh, call or email or uh, um, you can always get a hold of me at james at warehouse-lighting.com. Um, we're going to be putting in a Levitin high bay fixture, and that would be part number OSFHU-ITW. It's a high bay, high bay passive infrared occupancy sensor. This one goes on most of our fixtures. We do have a uh, watt stopper too. Um, but uh, just to give you an idea, if you uh, weren't able to order the fixture with your occupancy sensor, we do have them available that you could just add them to it. So we're first going to start by opening up the fixture. On this one, it happens to be two screws. This is one of our HB4 T5s. Pretty easy opening. Then what you're going to do is going to look for your wires. Coming off of this ballast, it's an Osram. Just to give you an idea, um, it's got what's considered a switch leg in it. So it's got basically two leads coming off the ballast that are controlling two sides of the lamp. So you could actually separate the fixture from doing two and two. So two lamps or two lamps you can keep on or off. Uh, a couple different ways that you can wire this fixture is you could just actually if you wanted to leave two of the lamps on all the time, you could leave a hot to those. And then you could, uh, you know, just actually make the sensor itself switch between the two, uh, the other two. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from the quick disconnect. And now we've got the two power leads that come off the ballast there. We're going to pop an opening at this side of the fixture. I'm just using my uh, screwdriver, whatever you need to use from there. Um, we've already pulled off the nut on the fixture or on the uh, sensor itself. You know, and a lot of times I'll just cut the extra wire off of this because we don't really need all of it. It just seems to get in the way. So I'll cut it about a foot and a half off or two feet. Then I'll strip the leads. Pulling the rest of the way off. We're going to fish the wires through the fixture at whatever end or center or wherever you need to uh, wire that fixture. And as you notice on here, you've got, this is your switch right here that actually you're going to connect your power leads to. It's the red one off of this particular uh, sensor. This is the power that's going to go to the quick disconnect and the white is also going to go to the quick disconnect with whatever white is rolling off the ballast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish the wires through one end without that uh, screw. I'll push it all the way. Then I'm going to take the screw that we pulled off of the, uh, the sensor we're going to fish that over the wires. I'm going to tighten it down. Usually a hand tight is really all you need. If 
if you wish to tighten it more. You can also get an arm that extends it out from the fixture a little bit so that you don't have to worry about the fixture inhibiting the sensor at all. So from here, you still have your quick disconnect. Um, you still got a black lead off of it and you still got a white lead off of it. What I always do uh, in cases like this is the black lead off of this particular one is going to go into the quick disconnect for this fixture. So now what we got to do is we got to hook up the switch. So this is going to act like if you had a switch in the wall and you're going to wire it to the two what's called the switch leg and the other power which controls two lamps and two lamps and you can have this whichever way you want. You're going to take it and wire it to the red lead coming off the sensor. Sometimes there's a little extra wire, you know, to clean up your ends. So you got the red going to the power coming off the ballast. You do that with a wire nut. Seat it down as much as possible. Tuck it into the fixture. You know, fish your wires through. So now you've got your neutral. You've got your positive and your negative coming off of the ballast. And now you're all set up to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. You've got to take your white coming off the sensor and you got to connect it to the other white or the neutral and now you got your ground you got your white coming off the ballast which is your neutral coming off the ballast you got your neutral coming off the uh, sensor itself and you've got the black rolling off the sensor and you've got the red hooked up to the switch leg on this one and the the power coming off the ballast so now you're all hooked up uh, ready to wire up the fixture I'm going to close uh, this one up. We're going to tighten it down. It's really as easy as that. It really takes you about less than five minutes to hook it up if you're trying to speed through it. Um, there's other lenses. We kind of toss the lenses in on the fixture so when you get it um, you'll be able to wire it right up or you can change it to be in an IOA sensor or whatever you want to block it out as. If you have any questions feel free to call warehouse-lighting.com. Uh, we're here to help. So thanks a lot and have a great day.